um, as a business person, having access to loan in Ghana is very hard. Very, very hard. The collateral and everything they will ask you to go and bring. You'll be wondering, if I have all of these things, why will I even come and ask for this loan? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Just in case I'm looking down, um, just know I am referring to what I wrote in my journal. Yeah, so welcome back to my channel. My name is Tara. In case you're new here, welcome. Thank you for clicking the play button. Okay, so basically I came back to Accra fully in 2018. So just here's a little bit of a background story. I came back in 2018 and when I came here, I decided to continue with my business consulting and then I was teaching how to effectively use social media for business. It was a great time of my life. I was hosting physical classes. Um, I was hosting classes on tuesdays thursdays fridays saturdays it was it was beautiful um, i was using impact hub osu shout out to steven yes i was using impact hub osu it was really really a beautiful time of my life um yeah but also i have always loved buying and selling right from a really young age i just love the process how you can convince someone as to why they will choose your products over another it gives me the sense of the sense of fulfillment so i've always loved that but when i came back i had to when i came to accra in 2018 i had to start with something first to raise capital and i continued with that for a little while i was able to raise capital and then i prayed about it and the holy spirit you know i do nothing without the holy spirit and the holy spirit said, okay, this one, you should go with this business. So that was how Ladies and Scarves was birthed. I have a business called Ladies and Scarves where I sell luxury scarves, luxury accessories for ladies, things that you buy and make and you feel good about yourself, yeah. So basically, Ladies and Scarves was birthed in, um, towards the end of 2018, but I was still making research. I had not even bought items to sell. I was making research. I was trying to know more about scarves because I like to know my onions when I want to go into something. So I was making a lot of research, the best place to buy from and all of this. So it was, it was really, it was really a long time of research for me. Yeah. So I made, I made quite a lot of research. So fast forward to 2019, I decided to say, okay, it is time to launch this business. So I did all the launching and all of that. Business that I grew in, it was successful. It's been successful. It is still successful. Um, it, it was just from this level to this level to this level. And then 2021 pandemic hit and it was locked down. At first I thought, oh, this is the end of this business. So I went back to doing my business consulting. This time I moved it online zoom was everywhere so it was easy for me some people decided to say okay let me learn something new so i had a lot of clients i was taking sessions back again but this time it was via zoom i was teaching people how to effectively use social media for their business ladies and scarves skyrocketed we started getting orders people were emotionally buying they were buying things i was like oh okay so i had a strategy to ladies and scarves i had a business goal i knew where I wanted to take that brand too and i think fast forward to late 2021 or beginning of 2022 late 2021 a lot of as i seen everywhere you have to raise extra source of income you have to have different source of income five streams of income eight streams of income i was hearing this a lot meanwhile i had just two which was my buying and selling and then my business consulting and as um, the buying and selling was growing bigger I realized I couldn't take on more clients with business consulting. So I had to like almost put it to a halt um, from taking up to 15 clients a month. I went down to maybe five clients and then I started doing every other month, two clients. I was just, I was, so it was, I, I actually put it to a halt and I focused on ladies and scarves and it was doing great. Now, don't, don't miss this part. This was where I got it all wrong. So in my head, I thought different stream of incomes means having different businesses on social media. I don't know why I didn't think it that deep. So I was opening different social media businesses and I was replicating what I was doing, what I was teaching people. 
and they were all a huge success ladies and scarves ladies and silk ladies and jewelries baby warehouse gh body secret closet a whole lot of them and i thought oh i'm doing i'm doing great with this thing so i was replicating what i did in the first one that was successful right so hmm, that was where i made the biggest mistake remember i said i already have a business goal for ladies and scarf right i would have seen myself through this goal and not fidget but i was distracted and i started creating other business pages thinking there were different streams of income don't be deceived it's still the same stream of income buying and selling having this different stream of income might be what well, maybe what i do now buying and selling um, business consulting freelancing having maybe an extra service people pay you for having digital products this would have been different stream of income but i was i was thinking creating these other businesses with different streams of income but i was totally wrong so they were doing great at least i grew some pages to 5000 followers some over 4000 followers 3000 they're all doing great organic followers people that buy i always sell out on my items so last year if you're in accra ghana a lot of businesses took the heat a lot of businesses suffered financially and the system here in ghana um sorry to say this but there's really no support financial support um for business people especially entrepreneurs you might even see in quote a company trying to give out grants to business owners and when you apply they'll tell you um no it is not for people that do buying and selling it is for um people that pro that have like maybe agriculture or something so for what i do or what people like me do which is buying and selling and we enjoy it there was really no assistant um here financial assistance right and because i was doing these other businesses i was neglecting neglecting the main one which is ladies and stuff and keep in mind i already have a brand goal i have a goal for this my brand in five years and ten years i knew what i wanted to build this brand to be but i got distracted right i was happy that i was able to replicate what i did in this other businesses in this or in ladies and scarves and i was doing it in this other business and it was working yes i was making sale but last year a lot happened the cd depreciated so much one dollar 16 cities to one dollar it was that bad um so basically it affected these other businesses and it also affected ladies and scarves so imagine i'd already sent out money to buy items let's say i bought 20 20 cartons of items worth baby items ladies items waist trainers all of these things that i sell right and then they, they go in and then i sold at the price i would usually sell i add my profit and all of that and within a month the dollar started going up even though you when, when we add profits to our items we anticipate for other unforeseen circumstances but nobody saw that the dollar was going to hit 16 cities nobody saw that i didn't see that so now tell me imagine i have finished selling product now i want to buy the amount i even sold the product plus profit i cannot even use it as a cost price to buy again you see distraction but if it was just one or two businesses i focused on the heat the blow wouldn't have been that much but it happened to these other businesses i was doing also on social media and the heat got to me hard really 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 hard and i couldn't send money to buy what i used to buy because i ran at a loss i was heartbroken it was so bad so 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 bad i know a lot of people that stopped doing business last year i know a lot of people that closed down their shop it was really bad it was really bad so I had to go back to the drawing board i say this a lot when something hits me i go back to the drawing board and see what i can do better so i went back to the drawing board and i saw my major mistake for the fact that i want to i want to have other streams of income i wasn't thinking straight i was just replicating social media pages thinking i had other stream of income there was just one stream of income right um 
So me knowing this, I told myself it is high time I close up this other business. So I'm here to announce that if you're a fan of Body Secret Closet, I'm so sorry, the business is closed. If you're a fan of Baby Warehouse GH, I think I have over 5,000 followers there. I'm sorry, it is closed. Um, the rest I'm going to list, I'm going to list on the screen. I won't be spending my time and energy on those businesses i'll rather focus on this brand which is ladies and scarf ladies and silk and build this brand to a stage where it can stand on its own to be um, a, a household name where people will say oh ladies and scarves i know that business they sell this they sell that so i want to make sure i build this business to be a household name and i can now if i want to which i don't think right now that I would want to go into these other businesses here that I, I did. So I would want to focus on this and also now try to really have other stream of income. I have a digital product now. Maybe I'll talk about it in my next video. I have a digital product. I also have services that I render. I work remotely. I, I do my business consulting, even if it's not full time. So these are different streams of income. And then my buying and selling is also there. Although I'm really looking at uh, also increasing my inflow of cash. So I'm thinking of other things I can do because hmm, Accra, Ghana is very expensive to live in. If you know, you know, and we have responsibilities to cater for so as we grow in life we increase our our income i think that's the right thing to do so yeah first mistake i made was not to really make my research or not to know that um building the social media pages is not different stream of income it is still one stream of income number two was neglecting my business goal because at the start of every business you have a goal you should have what what you want where you want to see that business maybe short-term goal two years long-term goal from five years ten years so me neglecting this goal for this umbrella business that i've started building and i was looking somewhere else right um so these were the major mistakes i made in business like i said um as a business person having access to loan in ghana is very hard very very hard the collateral and everything they'll ask you to go and bring you'll be wondering if i have all of these things why will i even come and ask for this loan and you'll show them your records and still you still have to go through all of this hula balu or all of this um um stumbling rocks and all of that and at the end of the day you realize that you've just wasted one month chasing loan that you won't even get or you go to some even banks that you bank with you go there like a lot a lot so having access to business loan is very hard here as an entrepreneur so um basically my advice to myself that i'm taking is to make sure that i'm focused on this umbrella brand which is ladies and scarves first make sure i don't um i don't fidget i don't deviate from my goal and see through it secondly is truly creating different source of income like i said having digital product rendering services also maybe using the services on freelance websites and get, getting more clients you can work for um like i said my business consulting going back to teaching social media for business all of these things yeah so i hope in this um, short video of mine you were able to take one or two lessons um i know i just said all of these things briefly but the honest truth was it was a hard decision for me to close down these businesses i even cried some nights i'll call my elder sister and be like oh no i don't i, I love this i love the, 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 the. i told her i think uh, when i finish crying I'm like i'll close it i'll close it and focus on this one i know my strength and i know my weaknesses i know i'm not good at multitasking i've always said this over and over again so i didn't even know why i decided to um replicate all of these things i was just in my head saying oh i'm a social media for business coach so i can replicate this business model 50 times and it will work yes it worked but was it the best no it wasn't okay thank you all so much for staying through to this very end and do not forget to like 
subscribe to my channel guys please and see you all in my next video i love you bye